Hey Jack, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm excellent. It's an honor to be talking to you, man. Uh, I really respect right. it. I really respect everything you've done. Um, I don't know how we can start this other than getting you on for sure. I, I've got so much stuff. I've got like 17 different tracks. And I mean, we got Rock and Melf. He's, he's capping off on me. I've never met Justin. I don't know. I never said I met Justin. I've never met you. I've never met Dimes. I never said I met you guys. You know what I mean? Like, I just, uh, yeah. there's, there's so many people that Steve's knew that never met each other. You know what I mean? Like, of course. I just want to share what I have. No matter what, no. I want it. I want it out there. I'm sick and tired of it being delayed and games being played and threats being placed and all this, all, all this bravado that doesn't need to be there. So I've got like alternate tracks of Clear the Air. I've got Wings. I've got the thirteen untitled King Capital tracks. I've got some stuff with. I've got a joint with Isa that he recorded. I've got some other stuff. I, I believe one's possibly a, a Chuck one from 77. Uh, I never got my hands on any Brandon Deshea stuff, though. And I, uh, I can't get a hold of Ducati for the life of me. I'd be willing to work with Ducati as well on this. Like He's got quite a bit as well. So what do you want on that? I'll put you on anything you want. It, the, the world is yours on this. I don't want to be on any of it. I don't want to be on any of it. No clout, no attention. We're doing this for Jamal. To be honest, I just want to have the music that I have, that Ducati has, that Tanya and Jamelia have, that Mama has. You know, Joey's got that cut from 2011 with him and Jamal on and Jamal and Glenwood beat or whatever. Like, I wish that we could all just simultaneously release it. But my goal is just, like, to get the closest homies, like guys like you and, and Dimes on there and... Uh, that's what has my respect. I mean, I'm not going to shoot the respect any further than that until we're shown respect, but definitely not put you on whatever you want. It's all you, and like I, I can send through whatever you need me to send through, and uh, you know, I, I trust you not to, not to do anything, man. Like uh, you. Yeah, and I, mean, I, I, I don't expect you to. Um, here, here. My bad. I didn't cut you off. No, no, I, I, I cut you off. I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I'm notoriously oh, bad for oh, that. I, I, All right, yeah, let's go there. Okay. So I met Steez through like a complete accident. Like I was buying lunch one day. I walked out of the deli. I was, you know, off to Brooklyn Bank Skate Park. I, I just for an adventure for me. Bang, smack, my face hits the cement. You know, you got seven or eight of the homies laughing at me in this. Chub, this chubby young man came up to me, you know what I mean? And the Tiffany's and stuff, and I was, I, you know, I was shocked, and he's, he, he picked me up, and that's where the first lessons began. And I'm from Canada, so, you know, I go home, and it was mostly always, like, just, like, a an instant messenger kind of thing or, like, an online thing. He'd come out to Canada. I'd make sure to be there for those shows, for that tour, and, you know, it's not like I was there in New York every day, dude. Uh... I wish I was, but I got the opportunity to, you know, see some interesting stuff, like, um, all those photos that came out this past year of him and the yellow Tommy were sent to me by Diego, and I sent those to the pros and stuff, like, just because I haven't been there for a minute, just because I haven't been there for a minute, and I have dreadlocks now, doesn't mean I'm not, you know, the small skinny kid who looked like he had cancer 10 years ago, like... No, no, I can tell you we never met, dude. I wanted to. Like, he always, he always talked you up. And, like, one of his, if you look at the way he presented the final copy of um, King Capital, it's totally a tribute to the third kind. It's like, 
track four times 13 tracks. You know what I mean? Um, he's very smart. Um, they can say it's fake all they want. But the reality is, even people like Jamelia had talked to Steez about him wanting to do that very idea. And... Very idea, like what we mean? Like the, the 13 untitled tracks, which is the blank album oh. art or whatever. Changing the name back to J. Steez so that Pro Era couldn't make any money off of that. And that he could protect Mama, get her out of foreclosure, and make sure that she could, she could have that comfortable life finally. Because that's what it was all about for him. And... If Joey has anything, I know it's design, designed by Tony, Tony W or whatever, and the track list is not the same one I have, so I can go back and forth with it until the end of time, but 